All right. In this moment, we are going to solve this interesting exponential equation. We are going to find the value of m where 2 to the power of m plus 8 to the power of m equals 130. And remember, m is a real number. But where should we start the solution? To start the solution, I'm going to rewrite this 8 in the form of 2 cube, right? We can. 8 is 2 times 2 times 2, which means 2 cubed. So go ahead and get started. Our equation is going to be 2 raised to m plus 2 cubed, which means 8. 2 cubed raised to m. And right hand side, what do we have? 130. Good. Next, this exponential rule that says a to the power of m raised to the power of n can be written in the form of a to the power of n raised to m. Actually, it says in this exponential rule, we can change the place of this exponent and this exponent. So go ahead, use this rule and continue the solution. It is going to be 2 raised to m plus. This one, I write the base, which means 2, then this exponent m and at the end cube equals 130. In this moment, I'm going to let 2 raised to m. Let 2 raised to m equals y. So equation is going to be y plus this one, y cube equals 130. Move this 130 to the left hand side. It is going to be I write this one first, y cubed plus y minus 130 equals 0. Now we need to be a little bit tricky and write this y in the form of negative 25y plus 26y. Why I do this? You will see, just wait. So it is going to be y cubed minus 25y plus 26y minus 130 equals 0. Making group using this term and this term. Also this term and this term. Now tell me what is the GCF between y cube and 25y. Right, it is y. Factor it out. y cube divided by y is y squared minus 25y divided by y is 25. All right, next, GCF between this term and this term, 26y, 130. The GCF is, all right, 26. 26y divided by 26 is y minus. 130 divided by 26 is 5. Now you can see why I choose negative 25y plus 26y instead of y because 26 is a factor of 130. Also, 25 is a perfect square. All right, next. I write this y. y squared minus 25. 25 is 5 squared. So difference of 2 squares. It can be written in the form of y minus 5. y plus 5 plus next 26 times y minus 5 equals 0. Now tell me, we have a term here, a term here. What is the common factor between term? Right, y minus 5. Write this y minus 5 here. Factor it out from left hand side. It is going to be this term divided by this GCF is going to be y times y plus 5 plus. This term divided by GCF is going to be 26 equals 0. Let's continue simplification. I write this y minus 5. Next y times y, y squared, right? y times 5, 5 y plus 26 equals 0. Good. We did it well. So now, the product of two factors is 0. 
if the product of two factors is zero, at least one of them must be zero. So I use this and continue the solution here. I write y minus 5 equals 0 or this one which means y squared plus 5y plus 26 equals 0. From this what is the value of y? Easy. y is going to be 5. This is a quadratic equation. To solve this I'm going to use quadratic formula. x is going to be negative b positive negative second root of delta over 2a. First, what is delta? b squared minus 4ac, right? Delta is going to be b 5 squared minus 4a 1c 26. So, delta is going to be 25. 4 times 6, 4, 10. So, 25 minus 10, 104. The value of delta is going to be negative 75 when the value of delta is negative. So we don't have a real root. So no real root for this equation. So our answer is related to this one. Y equals Y. If you remember, first we let 2 to the power of M equals Y. So I write here Y equals 2 to the power of now, use this one and this one. So we can write 2 to the power of m equals 5. Now, how can we solve this equation? Is it difficult? Nope. How? Just take log from both sides. It is going to be log 2 to the power of m equals log 5. Move this m in front of this log. So, we have log m log 2 equals log 5, right? Both sides divided by coefficient of m. Here, log 2, right? This log 2, this log 2 can be cancelled off. m is going to be log 5 over log 2. And this is the most simplified answer of our question.